Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV's Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Kikon, now the news in detail. An attempted raid of the Assam rifles did not go as planned in Norton Angami village near supermarket Dimapur on April 23. Hornbill TV visited the site of the raid and found that army personnel were stationed outside a go town after locking the gate from inside. Let's have a look at what unfolded. Northern Angami colony, the asset, Dimapur, just opposite supermarket. Army Hamra police keep Pangavi, because police be to Tabi, Warren Night, who was not a big Pangavi. Army Hamra police keep Pangavi, because the As the public is standing here and watching, they can see across the wall. And they have said that army is inside while the army is denying it. Now what question we have to ask right now is, why only raid places here? What is happening at the check gates of any contraband that comes in? What is happening at the check gates of our borders? <laughs> Malik nai, Malik nata kile to kulo na pare. Where are they when this checking needs to be done? Why only check when the illegal items reach Dimapur or a certain place or the go down? Iti ami khan northern Angami colony di ase Dimapur just opposite supermarket and we have Vemiri Meru the vice chairman colony laga aro iti ami khan sources pra kuala hesa pra do idu iti ekta go down ase idu to idu go down do iti lock hui na ase bithor pra and what we can see is that idu army khan bi aina ase yade aro tahan bi bithor de ase and according to sources Nagaland police bi ekta duita uh, officials can be bitored as but as far as I heard that not high-ranking officials but uh, uh, of officers from uh, personnel from East Police Station and we have the vice chairman information to council so I am to reason to to do private property I have information to council council member So, Malik, we'll just have to wait for the police as we were told that the police is on the way from East Police Station. Actually, the army official also has told us that the police have been informed and without the police, they cannot raid. But the raid seems to have occurred already because the gate is shut and also inside there are police officials, the Naglin police officials as well the, as well as the army officials. So whether the, the raid has happened or not, we don't know and we're not sure exactly what raid it is according to sources. Uh, contraband But then again, what proof is there and key papers are there? Itya mohan isna dikha isna vice chairman babi koi isna tahan allowed no hai aro bithore army khan bhi ase aro naglen police bhi ase kuchhe aro mohan itya tahan ge udhado tahan do tahan la ek tabi officer or personnel nai kuchhe holi bhi as the public is standing here and watching they can see across the wall and they have said that army is inside while the army is denying it now we also have to ask the question ki idu customs khan do where are the custom officers they are the authority to do certain raids like this with the uh, army or Nagaland police together. Okay, I am Babu Rio. I am in Northern Angami Colony, the chairman. I am the army. 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 I Gor Malik or plus Gambura Chairman Council member and thakhe bolage. Nole taan taan na kushwa to khulule do authorize na di bolage. Kono kono nole bi. Abni bi eja taan idu bhangishe kule taan do koyse they don't have they don't need the permission of customs or police. They 
তাহলে ইনি পড়ব কে তো আপনি হানবে এই নেক্সট স্টেপ তো কি করবো ইফ দে জাস্ট ডু দ্যাট রেড আ প্রাইভেট প্রপার্টি জাস্ট লাইক দ্যাট এটা ভিতরে কি পাবো সর গোল না পারে মানে এটা মানে এটা ওল্টা কথা কলে পেছে সামান বিয়া পালে আর আমি ফাঁসিব তারে না এইটো নেই ও মালিক বে আহ মালিক বে তাবি লাইন অনার আছে তাই মালিক বে আইলে তাবি মানে সফল করব মামি তাকে সফল করে কাম করব হয়তো লাপরে আরো কবলে কু নাই মানো So as we have just seen that uh, we are at the Northern Angami Colony near supermarket and we just witnessed that the Assam Rifles over here had come to raid a place, had locked up the uh, gate of a private property saying that there's a go down with illegal items stacked inside the go down. But we, don't, we are not sure of what illegal items those might be uh, and also the owner of the private property is out of station as we were told but the council chairman of the village also came and spoke the vice chairman also came and tried to open the gate but the army men were inside with one police personnel as well the police personnel was saying that he was stopped from coming out to or open the gate by the uh, army officials now what question we have to ask right now is why only raid places here what is happening at the check gates of any contraband that comes in what is happening at the check gates of our borders or different districts where are they when this checking needs to be done why only check when the items the illegal items reach dimapur or a certain place or the go down we were just told that the army official is going to raid the place no matter what but in the presence of customs as that is the way to do it and now we will have to wait and see exactly uh, what happens next if the customs officials right now we are waiting for the customs officials but uh, the army official said no matter what the operation needs to be done and uh, i'm just quoting the army uh, personnel also that uh, whatever it is the raid will be done and even the village chairman was saying that they were not informed they were not informed prior to any operation or anything and uh, he has just uh, disclosed how he felt reporter esther with camera person pankaj for hornbill tv tango union timapur which was supposed to celebrate its 50th golden on 15th of december 2021 had to be postponed post outing incident standing in solidarity with people of konyak Today, TUD celebrated its 50th Golden Jubilee at Doraka Gaon, Dimapur. Mundu Mukikon, MLA and Advisor, Science and Technology, Government of Nagaland, was special guest of the celebration. Mr. Kikon, in his sp short speech, congratulated the Tangkul community, Dimapur, and encouraged and urged the community to strive towards peace and prosperity. We must have the mistake, mistakes, misgivings, misunderstanding, and so for the matter, Jubilee is celebrated to reconcile. And also, in the spirit and the principle of forgive and forget. For the matter, whatsoever be the misgivings or misunderstandings, we should be in a Christian spirit, reconcile with each other and look for the better future. Leaders and esteemed leader, uh, members, I want to make an appeal that though perhaps we have been divided on the straight administrative boundaries, yet I feel the Tankul community is no less than the indigenous common people of the Nagaland state, for which, as an advanced community and as a philanthropy society, I would rather trust and appeal that anything that has to be resolved should be initiated in the right perspective. 
Speaking at the event, Jevihe Sumi, Vice President Western Sumi Hoho, encouraged Dunkel community that as a community in Anaka, one should strive for peace and unity in the society and united Nakas. Cultural ambassadors behave. How communities engage with others. How we build the Naga family by engaging, interacting and embracing each other. Let us continue that spirit of engaging, embracing each other. I must applaud the resilience, the optimism and the positivity shown by the Tampul Union and the Tampul community in Dimapur in spite of very many difficult and uh, disturbing circumstances in the past. Livingstone Foundation International Dimapur held its annual graduation day ceremony 2022 on April 23 at LFI Green Lawn. Higher and Technical Education and Tribal Affairs Minister Timjanimna Along was the chief guest for the program. And the book, 3C SOS The Final Answer, written by LFI Chairman Dr. Andrew Ahodo Sema, was launched by the Minister. The Minister further gave a short speech to the graduate students, and LFI Chairman also highlighted a little on his book. Let's have a look at the detail from our reporter Sumo. Once upon a younger year, when all our shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. Went face to face with all our fears, learned our lessons through the tears, made memories we knew would never fade. Baba to doctor, engineer, he like it. Go to Manu Kanso, like a Mukti NPC exam. Post the Manu Kankor, government drop na hoile kam na ay. Those of Manu to kam kurile. Apuni like a gor kam banabo. Moi ek ta gor pon a mystery Manu ase. Iso pada hating dia to choy like an abet pale. The winner takes it all is what you see. Are you willing to score the goal of your life? Especially in a state like ours, where wrong narratives have always been taught unto us, where we are taught to keep quiet and not say out what is in our heart with humility, where we are surprised, surprised to know that we are suppressed at every level. The very consciousness that God has given in, a, in our heart to do the right thing, to be bold, to be efficient, is suppressed at every level. We need a new Nagalin. We need a new Nagalin with a new determined people. And you are those people. I always say, if you mark your goal straight, if you keep your goals to where you have to reach, no matter what, how many may accuse you, how many may hypocritically try to pull you down, I tell you God is there. You will chart out that story. See, today you are young, you are conscious, I know. Before coming to school, before coming to your college, most of you may be looking at your mirror a number of times. Men also do that nowadays a lot, Dr. Auto, honestly. For me, I have no options. I have only one shape and one size. So I'm not that conscious about it. But I'm telling you, you should be a showstopper not just by the way you are, but who you are. National education policy is a very comprehensive policy that will chart the story of education, not only in Nagaland, but in the whole country. The challenges that we are facing is actually known and seen to every one of us. It will be more input to the infrastructural strength and also to the rationalization of teachers in both schools and uh, colleges and technical and in every sphere of that. It's a very vast subject. National Education Policy 2020 has to be implemented at least by 2040. 
So we have a 20 year timeline. So there is a lot of changes in the way the educational system has to be set up now. So I think we are already, the state is also doing well under the patronage of our Honorable Chief Minister, uh, the school education, Honorable Advisor, Shri Shukaluji is also charting it out very well. As far as higher education is there, we are in the process of it. Even in technical education, things are going on well. Brother Medo is doing good. After a major fuel adulteration scam came to light with many departments of the government accused by the Rising People's Party in connection to it, Chief Minister Nifirio asserted that the government will do what is possible while also urging the public to report such crimes. Let's have a look at the detail. Government will do what is possible. Government cannot watch everybody's kitchen. They cook what they want to cook. They eat what they want to eat. Everything blaming the government is on fear. The public should be aware, give report so that government will take action. The center's representative for the Naga Peace Talks, Ege Mishra, who arrived in Nagaland on April 18, has been meeting leaders of Naga political groups as well as the state's chief minister, along with the core committee members for the past few days. Speaking to Hornbill TV, the chief minister said that now the ball is in the court of all stakeholders where public support is required. Whether they, the public, want peace or not, whether they want settlement or not, and whether the issues that are making a roadblock and should find a way for coming together to find a solution, said Rio. Let's have a look at the detail. No, I came Mr. He has come to the state. Because when myself, Deputy CM Patton, and Mr. Tiaz Ilyang, we met the Honorable Home Minister and also the Honorable Prime Minister. They have shown their seriousness for solution to the Naga protected issue and assured us that they will send the interlocutor to Nagaland to at least stay and have thorough discussion with all concerned even a week or more and should continue to do so till we find a meeting point to have a settlement. No, we are meeting him regularly, so it's not uh, necessary that we all meet him. We have been meeting and uh, he's having consultation. We want to give him free hand to have contact and discuss with these people who are negotiating. The ball is in the court of all the stakeholders. Public support is required, whether we want peace or not whether we want settlement or not, whether the issues that are uh, making a roadblock uh, should find a way for coming together to find a solution. A hydrology project convention center come commissioning of automatic water station and piezometer was inaugurated by the Chief Minister of Nagland, Nifirio, at the EE investigation cell Fort Mile, Chumukedima. Rio lamented that with this facility, water resource management will be improved while also helping the farming, industrial and domestic sector. With the data and information available through the facility, Rio hoped that better utilization of water will be adopted. The Chief Minister also encouraged the Department of Water Resources to impart training and knowledge so that Naglin can grow. The project is aided by the World Bank with a final contract value of Rs 248.34 lakh for the convention centre and Rs 17.44 lakh for the pesometer, respectively. Time, too less water. Monsoon, it pours like anything. In dry seasons, there is not even water sufficient to drink and therefore when you have water sometime excess when you have too less sometime 
it is for us with all these technologies management of using of water so when we manage management of water then we will be comfortable and therefore the engineers or the technical persons who are here will know better therefore i think usage of water has to be very careful you have the weather forecast automatically you have seen the winds directions you have the water falls i mean rain you have the water level what is in underground so if we manage this thing for the use of our needs i think we can become prosperous and have self sufficiency for our daily needs water is as mentioned very important component and the existence and the survival of human beings animals and plants depends on water the climate change and the weather forecast tells us how the climate change is affecting the economy the people the even gone to the extent of our existence we have to do conservation that i did not elaborate we are randomly destroying our forest our environments are polluted our waters are polluted so if we continue to use and abuse will definitely face that crisis by bringing this kind of latest technologies to study to learn and i'm happy that this establishment has also created created trainings for the farmers i hope this will immensely benefit the people our land is blessed with abundant fertile soil anything you grow it comes up anything and we have plenty of water rainforest but we follow the indigenous method of cultivation therefore with this technologies knowledge of water and how to use usage of waters this will benefit the farmers then their harvest the income will be more and you'll be become a food self sufficiency and if it is excess you will export the income of the farmers will increase because this world is competition a mediocre cannot survive good is not good enough so i'm extremely happy that we could install all these instruments as mentioned the data center was inaugurated in kohima last year that's all for now keep watching hornbill tv